Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we have uh, just received a very special loan. Not only is our mission to preserve the history of Battleship New Jersey and her crew, but also the other U.S. Navy ships named New Jersey, one of which, uh, BB-16, hasn't been around for a while. And the other one, SSN 796, is still under uh, construction as of the shooting of this video in June of 2022. Now, back in uh, November of 2021, myself and a number of other staff from the museum, including some veterans of Battleship New Jersey, were invited to the christening ceremony for the submarine New Jersey. As part of the ceremony, Dr. DeMarco was presented with the christening bottle, which is here in the uh, rope holder, just to make sure that it didn't go everywhere when she broke it. And they made this nice case for it. And uh, because you know, you're breaking a champagne bottle, there's, it's under pressure, stuff comes out. So they had a monogrammed towel for her to clean up. And just this morning, she loaned us these objects to put in our three New Jersey's exhibit. So we're very excited to have these uh, historic objects. It was, not diff it was not easy to make an exhibit about a boat that's been sunk for a hundred years, a boat that every other exhibit is on the ship is about, and a boat that hasn't even been completed yet. And yet, it has allowed us or forced us to go out and seek uh, some very important objects relating to this under construction boat that are going to make great additions to the exhibit. So we are uh, very appreciative of Dr. DeMarco for loaning us these and for sponsoring our successor namesake ship. Now, uh, when New Jersey, the battleship, was christened, it was by the wife of the governor of the state of New Jersey, Miss Carolyn Hawkins Edison, wife of Governor Charles Edison, and she used a, uh, a New Jersey white wine bottle instead of champagne to christen the battleship, and it was in a silver christening bottle holder as opposed to the rope uh, woven bottle holder here. And we've done a whole video about that, which I've got linked in the description down below. So, uh, just one big takeaway from here is that this tradition has carried over, the tradition of, carry, of uh, christening ships like this has carried over for generations at this point. And we're very excited to have these to put on display. Now, it should be mentioned that this object, which again is on loan, it is not an artifact that is owned by the museum, it is owned by the DeMarco family and just on loan to be displayed here on the museum, is going to remain in its case because of the fragile nature of the object. Obviously, when you break a bottle over the bow of the ship, it is broken into multiple pieces. Glass is notorious in uh, breaking and forming small pieces, which shouldn't have to be something I explained. But it is... Uh, mostly contained in this woven bottle holder right now, but I don't want to pull it out and handle it and have pieces of glass uh, leaking out or anything like that. So it will uh, not be handled. It will be left in this case even when it is on display. An interesting part of the christening ceremony for a submarine is that by the time you do the christening, the submarine is already just about ready to be launched. Uh, oftentimes, christening and launching happen at the same time. New Jersey's happened uh, a couple of months apart, but the hull was more or less complete and watertight. Now, submarines don't have a steel exterior hull. They're covered in a rubberized coating to help dampen sound and absorb sonar and things like that. So, I can picture in my head a comical scenario in which you take the christening bottle and you swing it against the bow of the ship and it just boom, bounces right off of the rubberized coating. So rather than do that, they actually erect a special post at the bow of the ship to shatter the bottle on 
so that it is then spraying all of the champagne onto the bow instead of probably not breaking on the rubber. So uh, by the time you see this video, the bottle will already be added to our exhibit. So if you would like to see this christening bottle in person, be sure to come out and visit our three New Jersey's exhibit, which it's a temporary exhibit, but it's going to be here for the next couple of years into the uh, mid 2020s. Often the keel laying, the launch, the christening or the commissioning are all interchangeably referred to as a ship's birthday. Which one do you think is actually a ship's birthday, quote unquote? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum and our channel. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching.